Well, if you're a fan of the critically acclaimed Netflix series House of Cards, who isn't, then you know the real power lies with actor Michael Kelly, who plays mm. Doug Stamper. He is the former chief of staff and the top henchman to yeah. Kevin Spacey's Frank Underwood. And this season, Doug decides to go work for the competition. Cynthia was a good choice for your manager. She'll run a top-notch operation. But you need someone who's willing to do the things that people like her won't do. When you asked me for a job, you said you wanted to turn over a new leaf. I have a certain skill set, Miss Dunbar. For me, turning over a new leaf is using my skills for the right reasons, like putting you in office. Oh, oh, my God. God. That's the thing about Doug, is that that undertone <laughs> yes. of menace. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and, and yeah. when he started, he seemed like a nice guy. And then For a second. we <laughs> saw that <laughs> he was a nice guy who was able to do a lot of <laughs> nasty things. Do you think that represents a lot of us? Uh, yeah, right. I mean, look, he's an, he's an efficient man. That's, that's yeah. what I think. Yeah, that's one way. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's not necessarily a bad guy. He's just a guy who gets things done at at whatever cost. He's a bad guy. Well, Let me help you out with that. He's a complicated man who does bad things. That's what I, that's what I always say. Are people surprised when they get to know you how nice you really are because they expect this, conni this conniving evil man? Yeah, yeah. I think it, uh, you know, it, it, yeah, I'm always, people are always kind of like, you know, I get in an elevator with someone yeah. and they get in, they're just like, oh God. Like, <laughs> that moment of like, oh my yeah, gosh, am I going to get out of this thing. elevator? <laughs> and literally they're like, I'm sorry, I just, for a second, I was like, oh my God, I got in the elevator with Doug Stanford. It's not what do you good. say when someone looks at you? Oh gosh, I, you give a hug? I'm like, it's okay. I'm, kind of, I'm a big hugger and I smile. I, I never stop smiling, so, so I, I think I disarm people. Quickly. I think you should whisper into their ear. I have a certain skill set. <laughs> Just see what happens. Just see what happens. She's wow. you know, this show has so many great actors that that you know, you knew were accomplished, but now they are everywhere. You guys are yeah. have become. Has how has this show changed your life? Um, I mean, in, in, incredibly so. It's it. You know, before it would always be like you know people be like, oh, I love you in that movie or whatever, but might not even know the name of it. And now it's. You know, people scream There's Doug from across the street. You know, I get out of a car and people are taking pictures, and it's and 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 work-wise, you know, I'm I'm fortunate enough. I did a film this year, Secret in Their Eyes, that the, the director was just a fan of the show and was like, I was. He told me he was like, I was writing it, and I I pictured pictured you in the role. So it is. Com for the much better it's changed yeah. my life. Yeah. It's well deserved. You're great on the show. You mentioned movies. You've got another one upcoming called Everest. Jake Gyllenhaal, Kira Knightley, Josh wow. Brolin, among yeah. others. Crazy. Tell us about that Robin, story. Robin's in that as well. Yeah. Uh, amazing film. We we went to Nepal. We went to the Italian Alps. We wow. went to. Uh, we shot it all over, and uh, the cast is incredible. Walt did an incredible job directing it. And it's just it's a true story of the '96 yeah. disaster that John Krakauer wrote the famous book mm -hmm. Into Thin Air. Did you have John. to learn to climb a little bit? I did, and yeah. but it was uh, by fire. I mean, they just, yeah. I, we were, all the guys were like, hey, did anybody ask you if you, you had a bad back oh. or a bad knee? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, me neither. How about climbing? Never done it. Like, oh, and everyone wow. was just like, we all just winged it, you know. We put the crampons on all the gear, and mm -hmm. on they taught us for like there. one day. They yeah. taught us. You okay, know. We, we got this game. So you should be perfect at this because <laughs> yeah. it's called two, two truths and a lie. Uh, Bring so out what the Doug do you, in you see if you can deceive us? What, okay. what are the all right. two okay. truths? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's okay. see the Doug in you. I was the first person to graduate from Coastal Carolina University with a performing arts degree in acting. Okay. My father, brother, and I wore fur jock straps for our family Christmas pictures in Atlanta a couple years ago. Okay. okay. I worked as a bartender, waiter, stripper, bike messenger, and salesman at a high-end designer consignment shop in Chelsea, all while struggling to be an actor in my early years in New York. That's the lie. That's last the lie. One. The last stripper? One. The stripper? Well, not know. that you don't what have you the saying? body for it. Yeah. No. <laughs> you wow. have the body. I'll, I'll show you right now. I think, the, I think the first one. I think the, the yeah. coastal. You think uh, that's a lie? Yeah. Okay. I was the first person to graduate yes. with a performing okay. arts degree. Okay. They actually made, finished the degree while I was oh, doing wow. that. Congratulations. Uh, I'm so thankful that's to them. That's awesome. Uh, my father, brother, and I actually did. Uh, where the fur jock yeah. straps. Do you have pictures? Wow. <laughs> Hold on, picture. My mom, my I said, wow. I texted my, my dad and my brother this morning. I was like, you guys got that picture? And do you mind being on the Today Show? And they were like, you didn't hear my back from like, them. No, my dad and my brother were like, sure, man, but you got to be with mom next week. You might not want to. <laughs> my mom probably minded. Uh, yeah, and I did everything but strip. 
Oh, uh, as, as I was but, but you did for the jockstrap picture. Yeah, that's right. it. Well, home, that's a form of stripping. I'm mm-hmm. not for family. money. Among it's a whole money thing. Yeah. It's dirty. Okay. Yeah. For me. Yeah. It's the one thing you won't do. Okay. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Kelly, thanks so much. Thank House you. of Cards season three currently available on Netflix. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.